right here in this box is the computer and we sent it out it cost us 130 bucks to have it reconditioned they asked what was wrong with it and i said the injectors are acting up i didn't tell them it was one and three so they called me told me it was done they shipped it back when they called me they told me that the technician found a problem with injector one and three and fixed it so this theoretically should fix our problem and this thing should purr like a kitten and we can move on to the next item which will be the motor mounts transmission mounts and those and get those replaced so we're going to install this and see if it does its thing because i did put the new harness on blue bomber and the fuel injection issue the new harness is in and it goes all the way back there and plugs in back there. And we put a little bit of this stuff on right here. It's dielectric paste. And it's the best, cheapest that we found. You get a whole pile of it for cheap. We put it on all those seals, all the connections. Not much, just a little bit. And the uh, injector slid right in there. We put them in the rail first and then slid it down there and got it all lined up. And boom. When I say me, when I say we, I mean me and the mouse in my pocket. So the fuel rail's on, bolted in. It comes with the... Uh, uh, fasteners to hold it down. It's just a real quality harness. I gotta say as long as it works when we get it going for 27 bucks you Just can't beat it I'm not being paid to share that either uh, The clips really easy to use you just pull up on them push down and you pull them off You don't have to use these little things here where they fly off when you go to pull them out Just really simple pull up pull the injector plug off push down, lock back on. I noticed on this computer here that it was uh, reconditioned in 2012. They had a sticker on it, said reconditioned, remanufactured 2012. So we're gonna hope that it's about every 10 years this happens, because I know the wiring harness is real close to the exhaust manifold. Bad design by Dodge, I will say that. So let's get moving, racking and stacking and get this thing put in this blue bummer and see if it takes care of the problem. Let's get at it. So, we didn't have to replace the injectors. I only did it because I wanted to be able to do other videos for you. But we have six good, clean injectors that we can give the new owner if they ever need them. It's kind of a little bonus. We'll see. So right now we've got a harness for 27 bucks in it. And we have $135 in the reconditioned uh, computer. It's about 70 degrees here in Pensacola. I'm out here in the shop, walking around on my bare feet, which is kind of cool. I don't have my OSHA approved sandals on. It says on here, we take the utmost care in working on your part. It is not anticipated that you will have a problem, but if you do, call us. I gotta say, they did everything they were supposed to do. There's the new rig. So I'm going to speed it up so you don't have to see me going through all this. There's our plugs, ready to go. All we need is our cart, our handy dandy cart, and uh, the screws. Now all we have to do is start it up. The check engine light that was up here is gone. That panned out good. Instead of a three to five hundred dollar computer, we had it reconditioned and they did an awesome job. Watch the tack. Another thing I wanted to add is these are the plugs I took out. I don't know if they've ever been changed, but they are horrible. Not good. Sweet project cars. Ow. 